We're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. And when you launch the heart rate app, you'll see new measurements like resting heart rate. Apple Watch calculates this daily by correlating background heart rate readings with accelerometer data. And recovery heart rate, which tells you how quickly your heart rate drops after workout. A lower resting heart rate and a quicker recovery rate can be signs of improved fitness. And now, you can keep a better picture of your heart rate. You'll have a better picture throughout the day. The second thing we're doing is inspired by many of the letters we receive from customers who notice an unusually high heart rate when they wouldn't expect one. So Apple Watch has been helpful for them, but we realize most people won't notice. So we're adding a feature. And now, Apple Watch will notify you when it detects an elevated heart rate you, and you don't appear to be active. <laughs> and the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. A regular heart rhythm has a familiar pattern, but when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. It doesn't mean it's beating too fast or too slow, it just means it's beating out of its normal rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib, and it affects tens of millions of people and is a leading cause of stroke. But the challenge is, many people with AFib don't feel symptoms, so it often goes undiagnosed. We've been looking at this for a couple of years, and we think Apple Watch can help. In our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work, and today, Renouncing the Apple Heart Study. It will use data from Apple Watch, and it will analyze arrhythmias, including AFib, and notify users. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. So later this year, the first phase of the Apple Heart Study will be available in the US on the App Store.